Hey, this is Michael B from X Force PC, and I wanted to show you real briefly that the uh, Real Sim Gear G1000 is supported on Microsoft Flight Sim, and how at least currently that works. Now this could change over time. Um, it's sort of in beta, I guess, right now. Um, but I'll show you the process. It's pretty simple. Essentially, you start up Microsoft Flight Sim. You could actually be at the menu where the flight is chosen, like when you pick what airport you're going to or from and so forth, and then launch this little program. And I've got the shortcut down here so I can get to it. And it's just a, it's a little program written by Real Sim Gear, and it'll find both of the devices. And you probably can't see it all that well, but we'll see we have a, um, a PFD and an MFD. And you can actually, by clicking, you can change which of these devices is the PFD and the MFD. On the very latest version of the G1000 suite, these devices are the same. Um, and you don't designate one as PFD or MFD by the BIOS or firmware that you put into it. You can simply do it from the software. So again, get Microsoft Flight Sim up and running, launch this little program you download from Real Sim Gear, and they're now functioning. And when I turn the knobs, yep, we see, or maybe you can't see all that well, but the stuff on the screen up here is, is happening. So the next thing we have to do is get the stuff showing down here. Now, Microsoft Flight Sim, I'm not aware that, that it will remember the positions, but the way you get it there is you hold down the alternate key, the one that is uh, to the right of the space bar, because the one to the left of the space bar does something else. I'm holding down the Alt key to the right of the space bar, and I'm gonna click on the PFD, and you see it brings it up in a window. And then I'm gonna click on the MFD, and it brings it up into a window, but in the same window, which is kind of jams us up. But then you just hit this little plus here, and uh, maybe I'll try to zoom in a little bit. Um, but on the window here, there, and I don't have a cameraman, there's this little plus right in the, right here, that you have to hit. And when you hit that plus, it brings them out into separate windows. And my camera work may not be all that great, and if it isn't, I apologize. And then you just drag it down here and maximize it. And you drag the MFD down here and you maximize it. And of course, you have to have your displays arranged correctly in windows and all that. And then you can see that whatever I do on here, and I don't know how to really work, a G1000, but whatever I do on here um, does work. And again, I don't really know what I'm doing. Just turning some knobs, pushing some buttons. And you can see all this stuff does work. Um, and so that is how you get the G1000, Real Gear G1000 to work with Microsoft Light Sim currently. Um, now, when you exit X, excuse me, Microsoft Flight Sim, you go back into this same plane. What has been my experience is these things are gone and you have to do the thing where you pop it out into a window and drag them back down again. Unlike X Plane, it doesn't remember where you left these. That's probably going to be a future enhancement, but currently that is the way that it works.